Previously on State of Franklin. On ice, underwater, overwater, thunderstreak. There's nothing in the world like thunderstreak, made only by ideal. I will sue you for full custody of Claire. I saw your carriage out front, but I was unable to find you within. Yeah, I was, uh, without. Perhaps you've been wondering about my absence. Actually, I have. Uh... I tell you what, why don't we go inside? You can tell me all about it. I think you should know that I made a fledgling attempt today to return to my proper place in time. And how exactly did you do that? I have concluded that I was struck by a bolt of lightning which somehow propelled me to this time and location. Yet, thanks to something you said, it occurred to me that perhaps recreating those same circumstances might possibly propel me back to 1752. Or it could turn you into a charcoal briquette. Would you stop? Fortunately, my first attempt left me none the worse for wear. I was successful at sending the kite aloft under considerable cloud cover uh, and the rumble of thunder. You flew that kite in a thunderstorm? A thunder only, I'm afraid. The tempest passed as hastily as it brewed. I admit that the risks are great and many. However fascinated I am by this future, I am not sure that I desire to become a permanent resident of it. So, where did you get the kite? I was directed to a local shop called Walmart. And how did you pay for it? I prevailed upon the kindness of a fellow patron to provide me with the needed funds. Huh. Okay, well, it sounds like you had quite a day. That I have. However, if you will allow me, I will set about preparing a supper for us. Okay, uh, why don't you go ahead and get started and I'll be up to help in a minute. Very well. Yes, hi, um, Officer Mann. Hey, this is uh, Toby Hamilton from yesterday. Yeah, Ben Franklin's friend. Um, I have a small favor to ask. I was wondering if you could help me get in touch with somebody. I'll have to admit, this is a lot better than a frozen dinner. Why would anyone eat a dinner that was frozen? You know, for a period of time, I considered abstaining from eating animal flesh, uh, until uh, one day I saw a fisherman cut open a cod and in its gullet were smaller fish that the cod had swallowed. And I thought, if you eat one another, I don't see why we mayn't eat you. <laughs> that just about makes me want to become a vegan. And Toby Hamilton. Mr. Hamilton, this is Dr. Wayne Fontaine of Blunt Memorial. Uh, Roy Mann asked me to give you Yes, yes, thank you for calling back. Um, give me just a second. Um, this is work. I've got to take this. Yes, we met yesterday at the hospital when you were seeing that Ben Franklin guy or, or whatever his name was. Yes, 
I remember. You said you didn't think he was a danger to himself or others, but he told me that this afternoon he went out and flew a kite hoping he'd get struck by lightning. I felt like I should tell somebody. Was the weather even bad today? It's cloudy, but, but... That's not the point. The point is, I think he's trying to hurt himself. I've been letting him stay with me, but I really think he might need professional help or... Or committed, even. I know you're concerned about him, but uh, flying a kite on a cloudy day is hardly a reason to, to hold a man for observation, much less a commitment. Okay, but I'm telling you, there's something wrong with the guy. While I was at work today, he put on a bunch of my clothes, and they were really mismatched. I mean, not just a little, but I'm talking crazy mismatched. Mr. Hamilton, I I'm sorry, but I can't put a man away just because he's a little eccentric. If you're concerned for your own safety, perhaps you should reconsider letting him stay there. I know I said this morning that you were welcome to stay on for a while, but circumstances have changed, and now I think it might be best for everybody involved if you move on. I see. If you think that's best, then I will comply with your wishes. Thank you. I just want you to know that it's not personal. I mean, I like having you around here. I just think maybe it's not a good idea right now. Very well. May I impose upon your charity one last time so that I might continue to wear this clothing? You can have some clothes. Except this time I think you should let me pick the ensemble. Sure, this is where you want to go? Yes. This place is familiar to me, and it seems to offer many sources of sustenance, not to mention materials which may further my endeavors to travel home. Where are you going to sleep? For all intents and purposes, have you not already unburdened yourself of that concern? Fair enough. Here, take this. Trust me, you're gonna need it. Your kindness and generosity are appreciated. I wish nothing but the best for you and your family. Hey there. Hey. I just want to say thanks for putting me in touch with Dr. Fontaine. He wasn't very receptive to what I had to say, but I appreciate your help. Sorry, buddy, but I think you've got me confused with somebody else. No, we just talked a few hours ago. You're Officer Mann, right? My name is Mann, but I'm not any kind of an officer. But you're the guy that came to my house Saturday night. Remember the naked Ben Franklin and I had to pick up my robe at the hospital yesterday? Look, seriously, bro, you definitely have me confused with somebody else. Do you have a brother who's a police officer? No, not me. Look, if you don't mind, I, I gotta get going. Okay.
Hello, Toby. Hello, Jason. You remembered. I'm impressed. Just for that, I'll tell Lily you're here. Or would you like to step inside? No, I'm, I'm good here. Lily! Toby's here. Again. Nice drill. Tiny bit. From what I hear, my battery lasts a lot longer. Hey. Um, could you give us a minute? Thanks. I'll be right in. You should have called. I don't have anything to say to you other than what I told you earlier. Look, I just wanted to say that I'm really sorry about what happened. But I've sent Ben packing. He's gone. And I even got him to promise that he won't have any more contact with Claire. I can understand why that bothered you. Well, well I appreciate your saying that. Do you want to see Claire? Well, actually, I was hoping she could stay with me tonight. I, I know it's short notice and it's not a regular night, but I could help her with her homework. I can get her to school in the morning. I, I just miss her. We're about to sit down to dinner. How about if I bring her to your place afterwards? That'd be great. Thanks. Toby? How's your head? It's better. That was my lower back to relax. I feel like it decompresses my spine. Back injuries can be detrimental to a person's career. It can be detrimental to our patients. It can be detrimental. Shit. What are you doing here? I have been struggling with both remorse and shame. Remorse over not being forthright with you and telling you that it was Claire who loaned me the money to buy the kite today. And shame for not making arrangements to pay her back as I promised to do. I realize that this money is yours anyway, but I'm asking you to give it to her on my behalf as repayment for my debt. Okay, debt repaid. We're all good. Thank you very much. Now, please go. Lily's bringing Claire over here any minute now, and if you're still here...